Hey there! I wanted to make a very quick video about aspect ratios in the fantastic new version of Midjourney, which is version 5. This version is great because it can handle any resolution. We no longer have all the limitations that we had before and then three before it. Well, almost. But first, this is how you enter aspect ratios. I could use slash imagine snowy frosty Shropshire landscape early in the morning minus minus AR 16 by 9. I can also go tall with 2 by 3 or even super wide with slash imagine snowy frosty Shropshire landscape early in the morning panorama photo aspect ratio 4 by 1. The panorama is to let it know we really do mean wide and you couldn't do that in version 4. That's the 4 by 1 part not the panorama mode. I should definitely say though that version 5 is in alpha testing and it's only for paid users so if you're not seeing these options that's why you need to be paid. But if you are paid you can go play with these. Anyway onwards. First things first, version 5 is far more ratio aware which means it can adapt the designs to the ratios you've given it much more effectively. Let's take a look at an illustration in 9x6 and then 16x9 ratios to see how this works. You'll notice how the figures are drawn differently to fit these ratios perfectly pretty much. Now let me tell you an issue we placed with version 4 which I call the cropping problem. So here's a tarot card from version 4 and it's cropped off the top and bottom because behind the scenes it's using the closest standard ratio it know how to dealt with and then it cropped it down to the one I actually asked for. Well you can still get some awkward cropping in version 5 but it's a lot better. And now let's talk about this Samsung frame over here which is a great example of how version 5 has improved things. While version 4 couldn't give us the exact 16 by 9 ratio we needed it kind of switched to the 7 by 4 ratio instead and it meant I couldn't just send the image straight to the frame there. It would reject it for not being exactly the right size. It's kind of picky like that and I'd have to do a crop. Version 5 gets us so much closer it's very nearly gets 16 by 9 exactly but you still have to tweak it a little bit it's about four pixels out along one edge but it's still a lot better. Of course there's still some scaling to do but we'll touch on that later. For now let's go through some common aspect ratios and their best uses and some examples. So 4 by 5 which is also 8 by 10 is great for social media particularly Instagram and Twitter because they fill up a lot of the screen on phones. It's also used for picture sizes quite a lot and prints also come in those sizes so it's really easy to buy frames for. 2 by 3 is another common photo and print size. It's often used for posters again making it very easy to get frames for them. 9x6 is tall and perfect for phone screens while 16x9 is the go-to ratio for TVs and widescreen digital displays. Now if aspect ratios seem confusing no worries we can always use absolute numbers which can be super convenient and I'm also using absolute numbers incorrectly here but it makes things a lot easier to understand. For instance you might need to work with a sized paper like A2, A3 and A4 which has a ratio of 1 to 1.414 and Midjourney doesn't like a 1 to 1.141 it throws an error because you can't have decimal points in the numbers. So instead we'll use the millimeter size of say A3 paper which is 297 by 420 millimeters enter like this. Easy peasy. Let's dive into some examples of using absolute numbers for social media and print dimensions starting with like Twitter banners. Various sources recommend a size of 1500 by 500 pixels for a Twitter banner. If you're unsure about the ratio or simply don't want to do the maths that's quite an easy one. You can just use the command minus minus AR 1500 colon 500 and you're good to go. Remember version 5 makes everything so much easier. Now let's talk about Notion header images as a popular productivity tool which I use all the time. Notion recommends a header image of around 1500 by 600 pixels which I can now just plug in with minus minus AR 1500 colon 600 and it just does it. You used to be able to do that in version 3 3 but then it went away with version 4 you you couldn't go that wide so I'm glad to see it back in version 5 because I use that all the time. So anything that tells you a recommended pixel size you don't need to worry about working out the ratio you can just plug in the pixel size and it'll do it for you. Like 1080 by 1920 for a vertical social media post use it just like that. We don't need to know that it's actually 9 by 16. Obviously they don't always end up nice and neat like that as ratios. Take for example this magazine and a little side note the cover of this magazine was designed using Midjourney. If we look inside and we decided say we wanted to put something here we can just measure it 
which is 118 millimeters by 72 millimeters. And in this case, we can just use that as our aspect ratio. So AR118 by 72. Again, it wouldn't be big enough to print, uh, but we're just mocking up the design here, right? Before we wrap up, let's quickly discuss scaling, printing, and DPI in version 4 and version 5. Currently, as of recording this video right now, version 5 is in alpha testing, and it limits its maximum output size to 1040 by 1040 pixels, which is a quarter of version 4's maximum size of 2048 by 2048, which is unfortunate, but I can understand it because it's using that much more processing power. This might change in the future, though, so keep an eye out for updates. Now, when it comes to printing, version 4 still offers much larger outputs, making it the better option for print for the moment. In version 5, let's say you're using a 4x5 ratio image, and the output from that at the moment is 960 by 1200 pixels. You could print that at around 3x4 inches, which is 8 by 10 centimeters, or even push it as far as 5 by 6 inches, which is 12 by 15 centimeters, but that's about the limit. But don't worry. I've also got you covered on the scaling front too. I have an older video about scaling mid-journey for printing using Topaz Gigapixel, which I'll link in the description and at the end of this video. Next week, I'm going to be releasing an updated version of that tutorial, so stay tuned for that, as they say. Or if you're in the future, it may already be up. And there you have it. You're now a mid-journey version 5 aspect ratio master. Maybe. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. Remember, aspect ratios might seem a little bit daunting at first, especially if you've never really come across them before. But with practice and mid-journey version 5 at your side, you'll be an expert in no time. Until ChatGPT wrote that. If you've made it this far, let me introduce myself. I am Dan Cat. I'm an artist who uses code and drawing machines to create the artwork, so aspect ratios and print are pretty much my jam. If you enjoyed this video and you found it in any way useful, please give it a like. But even more useful, if someone asks you about aspect ratios, just point them to this video and it will really help me out. Anyway, enjoy making all the things. Bye.